Back in 2017, 11 companies submitted proposals to the California Natural Resources Agency on how to save the Salton Sea from completely drying up. Now, it is a major issue because the receding water supply increases the lake's salinity, killing off fish and destroying migratory bird habitats. Welcome, everybody. This is your morning on Spectrum News 1. Great to be with all of you on this Tuesday, December 28th. We've got Sarah Pila hanging with us all weekend for Giselle. Hey so, there. So fun to be here, my friend. It was just a year ago that we were at this desk leading up to New Year's. I'm starting to really like this tradition. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have you here always. Well, of course, we have hyperlocal news to bring you from your communities. And one thing, Melvin, is that tides are at an extreme in San Diego. Our Bree Stefan reports on a community coming together for science. Now we turn to a check of the headlines and we start this morning with new quarantine rules. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shortening the recommended time that people should isolate after a positive COVID-19 test. Our Tara Lynn Wagner is here to explain what this all means. Good morning, TL. Well, doctor, you just mentioned that uh, it's not a one size fits all. Uh, you know, it's not going to be the same for everyone. So I thought part of the puzzle of coronavirus was, of course, the asymptomatic spread. How concerned are you about that now? Well, some Americans are making major lifestyle changes like the van life. Others are getting accustomed to the new normal of remote working. But there are concerns about losing face to face in the office. And that's where so work comes in. Our Tara Lynn Wagner joins us in studio. And the latest happened just last night around 7 p.m. at a Nordstrom's in Canoga Park at the Westfield Topanga Mall. Now, LAPD say five suspects went into the location and stole multiple high end purses before fleeing in a gray Ford Mustang. A security guard was also treated at the scene after the thieves sprayed a chemical to the face. Well, the latest is the jury asked to review media evidence this morning. They watched video of Ahmad Arbery being shot and killed and heard the 911 call that Gregory McMichael, one of the defendants made while pursuing Arbery. McMichael can be heard saying there's a black man running down the street. The indictment charges the defendants individually as well as what's called parties concerned in the commission of a crime. If the jury finds that one of the men committed a felony, it can convict all of them of that crime on the basis that they were acting together. Hi, Giselle. Good morning to you. Well, currently, about 80% of students in the Los Angeles Unified School District are on track to comply with its COVID-19 vaccine mandate. But that leaves about 44,000 students who haven't met the first shot deadline, and they risk being displaced from in-person classes. It's one of the most divisive <laughs> issues in our nation. I'm talking about this pineapple belong on pizza. No, although there's many people here, Sarah, this morning that feel like it does. Apparently they do. I think you either love it or you absolutely <laughs> yeah. hate it. I think Melvin or I are kind of in the same boat, but I don't think I'll be going to get any pineapple on my pizza. You know, this has created quite the debate in the, in the newsroom this morning, everybody.